Okay, everybody, um, I'm going to introduce a speaker here that actually is from Harney County and it was over there uh, and very much involved from day one uh, through to today. Uh, I know a lot of you have probably seen him on uh, a lot of different Facebook posts and uh, live feed from uh, The Voice of Idaho and a couple other different places. Uh, so without any more uh, further to do, we'll get Tom Davis up here to kind of let you know a little bit from uh, the boots on the ground. But I would like everybody just to take a second, real quick, now that we've got this candlelight lit, and just truly remember the man that is in that picture right there and the fact that he was, is no longer able to be here to support us. And let's keep this word moving and get this out there. Draw the people with kindness and peaceful, just like the boy's whole purpose was. So thanks for coming, everybody. This is Tom Davis. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi guys, um, Patty from Hardy County. I just been involved with Lisa. We got Hammond's pickup back to him. Did Lisa and got it all secured. I got several other vehicles. I was down in the refuge the other day getting vehicles. Oh, <laughs> getting vehicles and that from the guys. And I seen a lot of destruction done. But not by the Hammond's crew, but by the federal government. There was arrowheads, they had little flags, lower flags on wire everywhere where they took the arrowheads and scattered them. They scattered them over top of that, that a, the they dug a septic system, a 400 foot beach line, four lines, and the septic system. They had them scattered over there. My question to the Burns Bayou is, when, where was that outrage when the government was digging in your so-called sacred burial ground, your artifacts, where was the outrage when they were digging up your so-called sacred ground? Where was the outrage when they were building a building? They took this building site, they raised it up about seven, seven feet from the ground. It's built up quite high. But they found artifacts in there first, so they brought in a blade to level out the ground, disturbing the artifacts. Then they brought in the machines to incorporate the soil to make a, a sturdy, solid base to build that building. And all this was on top of an artifact burial ground that the Paiute natives are describing right now as their uh, bandage here. Where was the outrage? They built a road on top of the hill and took out the corner down the 25 mile corner on the side house line that used to be Princeton Narrow the Road. They took out the corner and did a straight path. Went across the native artifacts and everything. Where was the outrage? The FBI does, I call them, pets for shoot, shoot pits to kill any of the militia that came in that night. And they dug, they dug these pits, and they're trying to say Ammon and them dug them. Sorry, I was there before, right before the boy was killed, and there was no pits dug. Ammon and those guys never dug no pits. It was dug by the FBI in control of the four people. And these were shoot positions on a blind corner. We all know about blind corners now. The government's famous for blind corners. To catch the militia when they were responded to rescue, they were probably enough. So this is all set up by the government to try to discredit the bunnies. So I'm just letting you guys know. The bunnies never did destruction. The bunnies were repaired, clean, community service on the refuge. The refuge I've been down there in the bunkhouse when the firefighters were in the bunkhouse. They were a mess. Teenage boys are a pig. You've been around <laughs> teenage boys, you all know they're pigs. The bunkhouse was totally crap for teenage boys. But there was no outrage from the federal government over destruction of the government facility. Now there is. So this stuff has been going on. So don't believe all the reports you hear from the news media. I'm sorry to say, OPB and everybody that says that they tried to destroy stuff at Hammond. They did not. They respected the culture of the Native Americans. They invited the Pike patient to the refuge to claim their artifacts. I read the search report of the FBI, search and seizure report. In paragraph one, uh, column E, the states to recover all artifacts belonging to all their national wildlife refuge and or BLM federal government. Nowhere did I see artifacts of the Native Americans. The government claims of all the artifacts. They do not belong to the people. If we need to return these artifacts back to the people that they originally came from. The best view of artifacts I've ever seen is in Mall Hill Refuge employees, personnel and homes. Everyone wants to get antiquity after 
you go visit their home, they'll play the lawnmower all the time. And now, but this is Amazing. stuff that yeah. the engineers <laughs> came to YouTube, Channel 2 News, had it on with Kennedy from the tribe, came up here and did a big thing about stomping in Arlington and destroying our history. It's their history too. We are one people. We are people. Black, white, Chinese, Japanese. We are one nation. We are one nation that's got to come together. These guys over here are public land. It is public land. We want to maintain public land. Government is shutting down roads. They're shut down land. You can't go and trespass on their personal land. All your refuge is one of them. I've had a lot of people. We've got one guy who works for all your refuge. That lives down there that's a convicted Calvin. He will cut the fences and turn the cows into the rest. If you go on to get the rest of the cows, the cops come and tell you you're trespassing, get off the refuge. So the refuge is not private, it's not public property, it's private. It's owned by the government. So there are signs over there with the birds, with the private public land. As far as we don't have public land, right now we can go on it, but once the government gets full control of it, there will not be no public lands. They'll be private. The birds are best viewing of the birds. Mulher Refuge used to have a pamphlet and I said that. Steve, best viewing of the birds was on nearby ranches. Go down there right now. When the snowbird geese are coming through, you'll have cars stopped, birders stopped along the road. Traffic hazards pulling out in front of you to view the birds on the ranch. Because the birds need to have that fresh green grass, not that wolfy old grass that's out of the refuge. Mismanagement is a good thing for the government. Mismanagement of a forest timber industry or timber up there above Silver Creek and that. I've got pictures. Here's a container box ready to go. We will destroy hundreds of millions of dollars worth of timber in the next fire. Last fire in that country was a million. Had to be a land to start a fire. They were out trying to rock joy riding. Got stuff. Had to convert and start a fire, burnt 5,000 acres. Burnt the pickup they were in. Nobody was terrorist. Nobody's been charged with domestic terrorism. But the hammers with the back burn keeping their fire from hitting their place is charged with that domestic terrorist charge for 137 acres. Dwight and Stephen are good men. I've known them for many years. They'll give you the sweat off their back. I've had in positions where I've had no money on deep cows to market. I get paid bills paid. Dwight did it for free. That's the type of man he was. $500 worth of transportation to get for free. Yeah, Susie just had a hip surgery. Able to pray for Susie. She's in a bad spot right now. All the men are gone. And, uh, so, same with the Bundy. Well, I gotta go. There's nothing to go.